Transformations Made in Inequalities The ultimate goal when dealing with inequalities is to isolate the variable, i.e. to write it alone on one of the sides, usually on the left, and after doing the necessary operations, obtain the simplest form of the inequality, that corresponds to the final solution. 1. We can complete the following transformation in inequalities for isolating the variable and therefore obtain an easier solution. We can add or subtract the same number or expression from both sides of an inequality, and still obtain an equivalent inequality to the original without any change in the inequality sign. For example, in the inequality, we have the following as shown on screen. We can subtract 2 from both sides to isolate x. In this way, we have the following as shown on screen. This is the final, and simplest, version of the inequality x plus 2 less than 3 that was obtained by doing a single transformation. 2. We can multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a positive number, and still obtain an equivalent inequality to the original without any change in the inequality sign. For example, in the inequality, we have the following shown on screen. We can divide both sides by 3 to isolate x. In this way, we obtain the simplified version of the original inequality, we have the following shown on screen. 3. We can multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number and still obtain an equivalent inequality to the original after changing the direction of the inequality sign. For example, in the inequality, we have the following shown on screen. We can divide both sides by minus 4 to isolate x. However, we must also swap the direction of the inequality sign to obtain an equivalent inequality but in the simplified version. Thus, we have the following shown on screen. Why is this so? Let's prove the third property of inequalities with the help of the other two. Thus, in the original inequality, we have the following shown on screen. We can add both sides by 4x first, i.e. we have the following shown on screen. Now, we can remove 20 from both sides, i.e. we have the following shown on screen. Moreover, we can divide both sides by 4 to isolate x, we have the following shown on screen. We can read the last mathematical sentence from right to left, as we did when dealing with double inequalities. In this way, we have the following shown on screen. The last inequality is identical to the one obtained when using the third property of inequality. Hence, this property is confirmed as true. It is evident from the last example that we can combine all the properties in a single example until the desired result is obtained. Example Solve the following inequalities, we have the following shown on screen. Solution For A, we obtain the following as shown on screen. For B, we obtain the following as shown on screen. For C, we obtain the following as shown on screen. That is all for lesson 10.1.4. To continue this tutorial, please watch. 10.1.5 Intervals and Segments Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.